same thing what I mentioned earlier. Lifestyle change becomes the first thing. Even even slim patients need to exercise because their insulins are high. And the only best exercise for them is with you know resistance exercises. They should do weights. They should do resistant bands. They should do those kind of exercises. Whereas girls who are overweight, they need to do cardio. They need to get rid of the fat. So they need to do more of cardio. And strength even the slim girls need to do a lot of strength training. Right. So mm-hmm. even if they are slim, they need to exercise to bring down their insulin levels and that helps. So I think if they are having fertility issues, I think the first step of course as I mentioned earlier that uh, we have to evaluate, we have to give them treatment. And um, you know if if the uh, once the hormones are controlled, if she's still having any other periods, we can then go to ovulation inducing drugs. But we see the age of the patient. See if she's come to me at 34, 35. I'm not going to hang around, you know, doing simpler treatments for her for a longer time. I will go in quickly, uh, correct the hormones and quickly start treating her. If in the routine treatment in three four cycles she doesn't conceive, I will go straight into IVF. Because we must remember that in Indian women, they reach menopause about five to six years earlier than the you know the Caucasian women like. Europeans or Americans. They reach menopause at about 52, 53, whereas in India women reach menopause around 48. So it's about almost five to six years before mm-hmm. you reach so the American women. So in short, ten years before you reach menopause, your eggs go for a sort of sort of a toss. Yes. They are a little unhealthy, they don't give you the best pregnancy rates. So you're by the time you're 37 and you're still trying to get pregnant with routine treatment. It may not work because age goes against you. So what we say is, if you're overweight, uh, and if you're overweight and you're already 38, 39, then I wouldn't wait for you to lose weight. I would correct your hormones quickly within a month and start you straight away on IVF because I don't want to lose out all those good eggs which would otherwise you would lose. So people always tell to women with PCO is a lot of eggs, so no problem, they can even get pregnant at 42. It's not true. The studies have shown that at the age of 40, roughly, you know, the at least in the Western population, that by 40, whether they are PCOS or not PCOS, you get similar results. So in India, I would say by the time you are 36, 37, you should be taking it seriously. I know there are a lot of career women today. And those career women, I don't tell them, no, no, you must get pregnant quickly. Yes, if you're married and if you're not into a career and you're happy to get pregnant, then that's the best thing to do. But if you're in a career and you want to postpone your pregnancy or you're single and you still don't have a right partner or you're separated, you don't know when you'll get remarried and, you know, sort of have a baby, best is to freeze your eggs. I think that's the best thing to do. And we are now getting girls who are getting married. But they want to postpone their pregnancy for another three, four years. They said you want to settle down first. Fine, you're 32, 33, freeze your embryos and keep. You want to get pregnant, get pregnant at 40, no problem. You can get pregnant at 40. So don't, don't, uh, you know, sort of just postpone things if you if you think that, you know, it's going to take long to uh, find the right partner. Freeze your eggs, freeze your embryos, whatever. But, for even for a woman who's married and planning a pregnancy, when she goes to a doctor, what I would suggest is that when we do IVF, that obesity doesn't play a major role in getting pregnant. So therefore, even if she's very obese or she's obese, I would of course put her on a lifestyle change for three months, correct all her hormones. And then if I think age is against her based on her report, I would go straight into IVF, especially if she's already tried to do so I think there's a role to play, but of course if she comes to me at 30 and she's never tried any treatment, I would give her all the possible you know, uh, therapies, what we gave, we do ovulation induction first with tablets, lifestyle of course first, ovulation induction with tablets, then we do an ovulation induction with IUI, we may get injections and IUI, some patients require drilling of the ovaries, which you know unfortunately is overused treatment, but mm-hmm. it's selective for some patients and then of course IVF becomes the third line of treatment unless the woman is already you know her age has gone advanced age then I will go straight into IVF first never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like 
सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन